Welcome back guys, Derek with Divine AV here and we have something super special for you today from Sony. This is the all new laser lineup of the new ES series, your VPL XWES series. So you have three new projectors in this lineup. You've got the 5000 ES, you have the 6000 ES, and also have the 7000 ES sitting back over in the corner, but that's for another video. Today we are comparing the all new Sony 6000 ES to the JVC NZ7 or RS2100 as some of you might know. Uh, if you're familiar with our channel, we have a comparison of this and the 715 ES, but today we're comparing the all new. This comes out very, very soon, and this is straight what's replacing that old 715 ES. So let's put these guys apples to apples straight together and compare. Uh, if you guys are digging the content and you're enjoying this, you know, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. We're, we like to interact with you guys and, you know, maybe consider subscribing. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is we have a direct comparison on this uh, screen here that I'm gonna put you over to my brother and he's going to get into some specs with this NZ7 and this 6000 ES. Let's get it going. All right, guys, we're gonna get right into this comparison. We are comparing the RS2100, which some of you know as the NZ7, versus the all new VPL XW6000ES. These are very similar projectors. They have the same price points. The 6000ES will be out shortly, and of course the NZ7 RS2100 is already available now. If you guys are in DFW and looking to pick up one of these projectors, go ahead and give us a call and we will help design your space from the ground up and get you completely set up with a full turnkey system. All right, um, between these two projectors, a couple of highlights on each one here. So they both do 4K 60 Hertz. They both have really nice uh, input lag for gamers. So you have like low 20s on both projectors and then you have teens. So the Sony does low teens on uh, 1080p uh, 120 hertz. So you do have that 4K 120 hertz and that 8K input, 8K 60 on the JVC because it has HDMI 2.1. You do get an HDMI 2.0 port on the Sony. Uh, there's uh, when we, We're going to compare both images in just a second here and we'll talk about some of the pros and cons of each projector. Uh, both fantastic units. It's really hard to get a bad projector at this price point. If you guys are looking for a premium projector, this is definitely the baseline uh, you know, to get a really nice high-end setup. Let's get right into the image. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're getting into the first image here. Um, we are in SDR right now. Both projectors have been calibrated by hand and uh, they are both on 6500K for the color temp. Uh, we've made the gamma as good as we can get them for the SDR content. And we will get into the HDR content shortly. So just hang tight. All right, let's go ahead and play this there. All right, guys, right away, you know, colors, both very vibrant from both images. A lot of detail in the images. To the Sony, if you look at the bark in the tree there, right up in there. So if you look at the detail in the leaves here, you've got a lot more detail um, on the Sony side of things. Colors are really great on the JVC. Look down here in the rocks. Right there, we've got a ton of detail in the rock. A um, little bit kind of subdued over there. Um, both fantastic images. We are on a 1.1 gain screen right now. This is an acoustically transparent screen. Honestly, amazing. I mean, both images are just truly spectacular. Go ahead and play. As far as overall brightness, um, you know, kind of perceived brightness here, I'd say they're uh, relatively similar overall. Um, it's really kind of hard to tell the difference between the two. I'd have to probably give the edge to the JVC just barely, um, but it kind of depends on the scene. The green, very, very accurate there you see. Gray tones, really nice. Contrast is very, very good um, on both projectors. So probably slightly darker here in the shadows on the Sony. Now there are some scenes that we've seen on this projector so far where, where um, it was significantly darker on the Sony. So a little bit crushed here if you look at the reds in there, just a slight crushing there of the image. Um, over here, a bit more detail of course in the flower. Um, you don't really have any crushing here. You can see the individual petals all towards the center there. Um, you know, there's, there's actually like some, some dark spots here that are showing up here that aren't really showing up on the, on the JVC at all. So, um, you know, it, it's really hard to choose between these two projectors. Uh, just, just both do such a phenomenal job. 
we are playing Sony demo content, of course. So you'll see this, this is a scene, this red bird's gonna come into view right now. We have a complete pitch black over here on the uh, Sony. So it is pitch black. I am seeing kind of a grayish tone on the JVC there. Um, we, you know, once we bring in that frame adapt HDR and the HDR cont content, I think you'll start to see, um, you know, some of that black tone improve on the JVC. Color accuracy, uh, very vibrant, bright red on the JVC uh, certainly is, is fantastic, really, really nice. Um, I think that uh, the, the red over here is probably a bit more accurate on the Sony, um, you know, to a true red. And, and it just looks really good because it pops on top of that native black surface. So, so on the, J, on the uh, Sony, you actually have that kind of infinite um, black level where it's actually like turning off, you know, in those areas. So you have a true, true black. Um, really, really good. Now, now uh, with that said, the black on the JVC is still absolutely phenomenal. Um, it, it's one of the best blacks that I've ever seen from a projector. So... We're, t we're comparing two Titans, honestly, and, and I'm just seeing, I'm seeing that, the, that the Sony has really stepped up their game. All right, guys, so as far as HDR brightness, very, very close. Um, I, I, it's really hard for me to choose a, a definitive winner here. Um, colors, so you got the frame adapt HDR on the JVC. And, uh, you know, maybe a little bit deeper in the green tone um, in this particular image for the JVC. Uh, I've got to give clarity once again to the Sony. All right, right there. Here we go. As she walks, motion's very good in both. Uh, let's pause it here and take a look at a couple of things here. So, a uh, very accurate uh, depiction of color in both images. Um, Probably a bit more accurate over here in the rose. This purple is really nice, very accurate in the JVC. Derek will bring you in just a little bit closer here. So if you look at detail in the bouquet, um, definitely each individual leaf, each individual petal is visible here. Very cinematic image though on the JVC. It's accurate, color accuracy is fantastic. It still has a lot of detail. I mean, better than 90 plus percent projectors on the market. So don't get me wrong. They are both absolute phenomenal images. I love the JVC. I also love the Sony, uh, both for different reasons. If I had to choose one for my own home, I think I would still lean towards the Sony, just like I did on the 715ES. The 715ES had some downsides to it. Um, as far as brightness goes, and, and that black tone was better on the JVC at that point, I think they've completely um, solved those issues in the new unit. Definitely much better dark tones. If you look at the black up here in the bouquet, comparison to the black over here in the JVC, it, it, it's actually slightly better from what I'm seeing here. Brightness in HDR, my friends, they are very, very even. So um, it is extremely hard to choose between them. We're noticing even in the darkest of scenes, stuff like The Dark Knight Rises, uh, fantastic on both. We were, able to see, we were able to see a lot of detail. All right, so right up in here. Um, let's look at something here. So if, if you look at the black right here, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera as well as it is here in person. Um, You've got this kind of blue, you know, a little bit of a hazy tinge on the JVC image. And I have a true pitch black here on the Sony. So, um, a little bit more brightness in the red and the different tones of red over here on the JVC. So there's some benefit there for sure. A little bit more brightness on that red tone, but more color accuracy and far more detail over here on the Sony. And we'll move through. All right, I love this image. Um, this image is very, very good. So we have, um, you know, good focus, good detail in, in all areas of the image. Uh, slightly better dark tone on the Sony in this image. 
uh, and more detail, far more accuracy. I could sketch this thing here on the, on the shoe, um, you know, with that much detail. This is still very, very sharp. If you look at the jewels over there, crystal clear, absolutely fantastic. Um, but then you come over here and they look real, you know, so it's, it's kind of like you're looking, you're comparing two amazing projectors. Um, so it's definitely really hard to choose between them. Uh, but if you're a pure resolution monster fan, uh, this is the way to go. And you can literally see the details in the fabric of the shoe. You can tell what type of material it is. And that's just something that's hard to, to ever see in a projection image. So phenomenal at this size. This screen is, uh, you know, approximately, uh, what are we, 150? Yeah, this screen's approximately 150 inches. Um, obviously we have this, this image over here on the right flipped and, uh, and we put them side by side for you guys. And then the rest is just kind of off on the walls. And, um, and so you, you can basically, we're comparing two 150 inch images essentially on a 120 or something like that, you'll see even more detail and accuracy in both images. You're kind of at the top end of the size um, that's recommended for both projectors. All right, in this image here, um, the black, you, you gotta give it to the Sony once again. I would say it's close to maybe 10 or 15% better. It looks like a true black. Now, if you use a gray screen material, you may be able to get a little bit better dark tone out of that, um, out of that JVC. Uh, it's still very, very good. It's very dark and it won't upset anyone. Anyone who buys that projector will absolutely love it. Um, so definitely no issue there. Uh, but then getting back into detail again, look at the individual jewels. You can see the individual cuts on each of the diamonds, the, the pearls. There's detail in the pearl here that you can't see here. Here it just looks like a regular pearl. It's got a couple of three shiny spots. This one here, you can actually see that there's not just three shiny spots, there's actually four. So you have another shiny spot over here in the edge. Actually, there's five. I'm gonna do a little bit of handheld footage for you guys. Okay, so JVC over here on the left. I'm gonna show you the detail here. So very, very good. Um, you know, you can see kind of the individual diamonds here and um, you know, very, very nice, clean image for sure. Make sure it's really nice and focused for you guys. And I'm gonna take you over here. And this, my friends, is a whole different world, you know. You can see the individual cuts on every single diamond. So detail, I mean, without a doubt, I, I'd say it's, it looks like it's, I don't know, 10, 15% better. Back over here for a second. Very good, but if you look over here, great, that's a good thing to stand on. If you look over here, look at the individual cuts on the diamonds. So right there, it's good. And look at the dark tone. Very nice, very, very clean. And let's go back over here to the same image. Look at the detail. It looks like an actual diamond. You know, you can actually see the individual cuts. You could sketch out these individual cuts because there's so much detail in the image. And then of course that black tone. All right guys, just uh, just so you're some noise on, on off our projectors here. Uh, the Sony, the 6000ES is incredibly silent. I'll go ahead and run this across the front of it. So yeah, it's got very, very, very light noise to it. Um, and we'll show you the JVC here in a second. JVC is honestly probably about five times louder. The JVC does uh, kick in its super fan mode. So Sony definitely has that edge in terms of it. All right, guys, and now here uh, we have the VPL 6000ES is turned off right now. So this is just the JVC, the uh, NZ7 right here. You guys can hear that it is... Uh, it's a beast of a projector, but it does put off a beast of a fan noise too. So it, it's 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 pretty loud. I, I will I will say that. Now, of course, you know a lot of you guys are going to mount those things up on the ceiling, so you're, it's probably not going to bug you that much. It's not yeah. like it's ridiculously loud. Yeah, as um, Warren said, it's it's up and out of your way. We have, we have ours sitting at like six feet. We're typically you know you're probably going to be mounted at least eight or nine feet. But still, I mean, if I were to give, you know, an edge, it's just, it is what it is. The, the Sony is quieter, so there's that. All right, 
keep going. Give you final thoughts. All, All right. right. Final thoughts. All right, guys. Final thoughts. So overall, um, yeah, we would give the edge to the Sony. Um, it's just the overall clarity, the contrast that's there. Granted, they they're at that price point. They're so close to one another in certain uh, respects. But as you saw there, just the the clarity, those colors that you get out of the Sony, we would give the edge to the Sony hands down. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are local to DFW, we will have uh, as soon as we can get our hands on one of these uh, six thousand ESs, we will have both on display because it's a whole different ball game when you're actually seeing these in person versus seeing it over your phone screen or over your your home theater screen so for sure yep. what do you got yeah so you guys go ahead and give us a call if you're in the dfw area we'd love to have you down to our showroom we have the big divine extreme home cinema you guys have seen some of our videos if you haven't seen that video please go ahead and check out the description down below there's a link to it or just go ahead and subscribe to our channel so that way you can check out all the cool content we have for you uh, these projectors are amazing and and you know in home theater these days it's really hard at this price point to find a bad projector so um, I really want you to come down like Derek said check them out in person we will see you guys in the next one thank you so much subscribe like comment hit that bell notifications and we'll you got it see you guys in the next one take care